My name is Clara and I'm a triple negative breast cancer survivor. I wanted to make a little video today because it is of course World Cancer Day. I want to raise some awareness and I thought it was time that I did a little video on YouTube about my health and a life update because I haven't made a video about my cancer journey in quite a while and now and again I get comments on my older videos where people say to me how are you now? Are you well? Do I still have cancer? Some people might realize that I'm also on TikTok, I'm very regular on TikTok and I'm very regular on Instagram and I am indeed still alive. If you're watching this, I'm not a figment of your imagination. Yesterday was the one year anniversary of my first chemo session. I had months of chemotherapy, then I had a lumpectomy, then I had weeks of radiation and my treatment plan finished up in September. I really wanted to get back into the land of the living. At 38, living with my mother wasn't the best thing. So I really wanted to move out, move back to Dublin where I'm from and of course there's more work in Dublin. Yes, I wanted to start working again. And I kept putting CVs out everywhere. Eventually I got a Christmas retail job. I loved working there, it was actually so much fun. I was hoping they'd keep me on after Christmas but that was not to be because another lockdown happened. At the moment I'm working in social media marketing and I'm working from home which can be a little bit dangerous because sometimes I can be tempted to have a little bit too much coffee you know but I'm trying to control myself. I've been cancer free since after my operation and I had a physical checkup in December in Waterford Hospital. Nothing was found. A year after my operation which will be this coming summer I will have scans. The thing about triple negative breast cancer and I know it's a thing that scares a lot of people is the rate of reoccurrence and I feel that if I don't live for the future and I just think about the past and my cancer journey I will think about reoccurrence and reoccurrence rates. Everybody's story is different and I do believe you have to be completely positive and live in the future and live for your future self. Exercise was something that really really got me through everything and I still exercise quite a lot. I live near an absolutely beautiful park and I live near the beach so that's something that I just love. I love trying to go for runs. I say try because I'm I have asthma. So I jog and then I run a little bit and then I walk a little bit and I do still use the Down Dog Yoga app. I still try to meditate as much as I can and I believe that Dr. Joe Dispenza's meditations are so powerful. So if you haven't tried them, definitely try them out and see what you think. So it is World Cancer Day. I want to end this video by speaking about the importance of self-checks and self-examinations. If you have any weird lumps or bumps, skin things going on that weren't there before, and you're worried about them, please speak to somebody. Even if that means for the moment, today, right now, just speak to a family member or a friend and then go to your GP. Because what I did is I spoke to my mother and then I went to my GP and then I got diagnosed. And early detection is so important. Early detection saves lives. Cancer is not a death sentence. So please do not be scared about getting diagnosed because the sooner you get diagnosed, you can get put in a treatment plan. And a lot of the time, lumps and bumps and weird things in your skin, they're not cancer. So for your peace of mind, it's so, so important to get things checked out. Thanks a million for watching. And I hope wherever you are in the world that you're keeping safe and you're keeping happy in these times.